Hi everyone! Welcome to another story time with the New Westminster Public Library. Today we're going to read a great book about all kinds of different feelings. But first, our reading tip for grown-ups. Sing songs. Singing is a great way to encourage early language development and it helps young children start to hear the different sounds that make up language in a way that is easy and fun. We are going to start our story time with a song all about different feelings. You might know it already. It goes like this. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Let's sing along. Now we're going to be a different emotion. We're going to be sad. If you're sad and you know it, go like this. If you're sad and you know it, cry like this. If you're sad and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're sad and you know it, cry like this. Now, if you want, we can stand up and we're going to stomp our feet because we're mad. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're mad and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're excited and you know it, jump and shout, woo! If you're excited and you know it, jump and shout, wee! If you're excited and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're excited and you know it, jump and shout, wee! All right. Now we're going to read our book for today. It's a lovely book with some big, beautiful illustrations called My Heart is Like a Zoo by Michael Hall. And you are going to notice something really interesting about the pictures in this book. Maybe you can tell just from looking at the cover. All of the animals in this book are drawn using heart shapes. So as we go through the book, see how many hearts you can spot in the book. We can spot quite a few just on the cover here. We've got this one, one. Can you see another? There's one upside down. And a third one. And can you see a fourth big one? Let's see what other kinds of animals there are inside. My heart is like a zoo. My heart is like a zoo. Eager as a beaver, steady as a yak. Hopeful as a hungry heron fishing for a snack. Silly as a seal, rugged as a moose. Happy as a herd of hippos drinking apple juice. Well, that's kind of silly, isn't it? Snappy as a crab, angry as a bear. Bothered as a bull with a hornet in his hair. Cool as a penguin, crafty as a fox. Quiet as a caterpillar wearing knitted socks. Frightened as a rabbit, jumpy as a frog.
gloomy as a lone coyote walking in the fog. Brave as a lion, thoughtful as an owl, peaceful as a portly walrus lounging on a towel, cozy as a clam, chatty as a jay, tired as a zookeeper who's had a busy day. And that is the end. How many hearts could you see in that book? I bet you found a lot. Now I'm going to tell you a very quick story, but instead of reading you the story, we're going to draw it together. We're going to start with a circle. There we go. Well, all right. It's not a perfect circle, but it'll do. If you want, you can follow along with your own piece of paper and your own marker. And we're going to tell our story in rhyme and add different parts to our face as we go along. And we're going to start with the most important part. I have something in my pocket. It belongs on my face. I keep it very close to me in a most convenient place. You'll never ever guess it if you guess a long, long while. So I'll take it out and put it on. It's a great big happy smile. Yeah, that's a good smile. Now you'll never ever guess it, so don't you even try. I'll take them out and put them on. They're my bright little eyes. You'll never ever guess it, though you might suppose. So I'll take it out and put it on. It's my nose. You'll never ever guess it in a million billion years. I'll take it out and put it on. It's my two ears. Now you'll never ever guess this one, but it will be a smash. I'll take it out and put it on. It's my mustache. <laughs> now he's looking a little silly, isn't he? Now there is one last thing I can tell you that. I'll take it out and put it on. It's my hat. And now we have our nice happy face. What else should we add to our happy face? Hmm? If you draw your own, what else are you going to put on your happy face? That's our story time for today. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you all next week. Bye.